That's one heck of a level. If there's one level out there you may be struggling with hundreds of times, that it takes you two hours to complete. That's gotta be the perfect run. Let me explain. The perfect run is a Super Mario Galaxy 2 Comet that takes place as our final star after the ultimate test. Whatever about trying to unlock it, but when actually playing it, it's a nightmare. You already had this level on your top artist stars in Super Mario Galaxy 2, especially for me. The stage is split in six segments you have to face. And you only have one life with no checkpoints. If you think this is not that hard, and I'm playing dumb, let me tell you something. This will change your mind once you click the rent. Let's start explaining the segments shall we? The first segment is hard since you are greeted by green gliders with orange helmet wear on them as they fly around, and especially spike bombs. You have music from the first game with Gusty Garden Galaxy for the first half of this level. You are greeted with Yoshi as you float around this segment. It can be such a pain in the but if you ask me. Besides, I struggled with this a lot, and I know you will as well. But if you actually good, then I guess this rant may not be throwing enough. When you finish this segment, you go to a launch star, flying you towards a small square area where you have to turn over 19 blue tiles into yellow tiles with Yoshi on your back. This involves some electric bosses that can chase you with their lasers while you rabbit. This segment is not that bad to me as it is the shortest one part of this star. You are also in a background full of 8-bit Marios, question blocks, etc. So good luck. If you finish, you'll be launched into space with another star launcher. This time, you get off Yoshi and leave him behind, as you will need your cloud flower for this segment. You have to spit to form clouds, while there are green electrical wires over and under you, so one must take him you're done. I seen people, when they get electrocuted, and then start over, that of course can be said, found in the description to Nathaniel Bandy's video, while he spends an hour beating the perfect run. After that, you are greeted with the same background, but now in the fourth segment, you have different music. It's the good at Galaxy, until you reach the sixth segment. The fourth segment is easy if you spared some clouds left over whilst passing two sleepy totes. You are now on the flip switch panels with laser rings that can shoot a drawn target line three times. So you gotta be careful and jump for your life or this beam is going to turn Mario into a skeleton. Then you are greeted with Octus who shoot green and fiery coconuts at you. The green ones are used to kill them while the fiery ones kill you. After that, you keep the cloud flower on for the whole level. You will be launched into a new segment, where you are on super massive boxes, while green electric fences are moving, so jump before they touch you. You also have to use pull stars, to get through this phase of the level. Sure this is okay, but I've died several times on this. But really, next part is gonna be the worst. This, final, segment, right, how words can describe how furious I was two years ago even playing through this portion of the level. I needed to calm down on that one, because I barely explained on this. This segment is your most brutal one. You are greeted to multiple hammer bras on their own squares, so you have to time extremely well whenever you're gonna either skip them or hit them. Dying on this is where most insane people will just quit. Knocking away the hammer bras into space gives you star bits. But after that, you are greeted with three boomerang bras who throw boomerangs at the same time, so you better be careful at this or you'll rage a lot. This segment is incredibly entertaining for its difficulty, but I also hate it because of how many frequent deaths I got while I took this challenge. But look at the positive side. Once you knocked out all of that, you are finally done, and you are greeted to Rasal and you will get the star and finally finish the game. Honestly, I did not like this due to the amount of deaths on my take. Mine is higher than Nathaniel Bandy since he took 200 to 300 tries. If you wanna see his explanation on why this level sucks, go check out his top 10 hardest stars in the link description below. And don't forget to sub him, if you already didn't so yet. But there are positive qualities. This level has the Mario Galaxy 1 music, which is interesting for a level this bad to have. And there is no time limit, but this is a daredevil finale. Anyway, what did you think about the perfect run? Comment below and I say this rant is over.